It's a tough subject matter, you know, we had some experiences with it. Like everyone, I think every single person is going to experience some form of cancer. But it just seemed like there was a concentration of it. Over the last couple of years, it seemed like it was a little tougher than most, I guess, for some of the guys in the band. Uh, the thing that was most at the front of everyone's mind, I think, because it was intense and Bill and Troy were experiencing new illnesses. My mom passed away Memorial Day this year from cancer, and she was only diagnosed like seven months before that. You know, it's kind of for Bill's mom, Kathy. Cancer came and took her really fast. I mean, it was just like she was here, and then we found out she had cancer, and she was gone. Yeah, you know, we came home from tour, and then I found out that she got sick. We did the biopsy and found out that she had cancer, and it was brain cancer, and it was terminal. Whether you're expecting it or not, I think these curveballs that life will throw at you are never easy to swallow. So, but you never know what amount of time you're looking at. And I know that it took a bunch of months. You know, it took six, eight months or something to happen, but. And it's still hard to wrap my head around the fact that she's not here anymore. That was right when I started writing everything for this record. So that's why it kind of ties in a lot for me personally. Last year, Troy's wife was diagnosed with cancer. It's a pretty devastating thing. and. The only thing you can do is be there for someone, be by their side and love them, you know, and just try to comfort them in, in every, every way possible and hope that they can get through it. You know, what is this? What is happening? Because you can't pinpoint it, you truly can't see it until it gets to a certain, a certain mass. And that's the true blackness and evil of, of disease, is that it doesn't rear its ugly head until it's at a certain size. And when you're, when you're, you're hit with, with this news that affects everything, it can be very scary, and it is very scary for many, many people. And it's all because of this moment that arrived and just swallowed you whole. It rearranges everything and puts perspective in a, in a whole new order. It's like boom, boom, like fuck, this shit is no joke. You have to find the light. If you can't see it or imagine where it will be, you have to, it's a must, because you have to get to the end, wherever that end might be. When you're speaking of time and how you use it, uh, that becomes everything. It kind of also taps into what and why we do this band in the first place. What does Mastodon give me? What does it give the other guys? similar to a family member or loved one when they're going through a battle. We're unified, we depend on one another. Our travels, our personal journeys, our band journeys, we share it together and there's no one else on earth that we share this with. It's very powerful and if it doesn't mean the world to us, we shouldn't be doing it. But all these years later, we're still doing it. And I believe that whether it's for joy or for sadness, tears are stronger than anything you can imagine. And if you can come out alive and you live with those scars and you be proud of them and it becomes part of who you are, it becomes part of your being and it just proves your history of struggle and fight and will and desire and that's really all you can do. There's not a lot you can do when you find out like a loved one or someone has cancer it's just like, that's terminal. Like, what do you do? So in my mind, my mind's racing like, like a dog chasing his tail. Like, what could I have done? Is there some avenue I didn't go down, like to seek help or some alternative treatment? But it's like, you gotta put it to rest because like, she's, she's gone now. We did try everything. Um, but to keep myself sane, you know, I, of course I come down here and just, just do it. I mean, even the day that she died on Memorial Day, um, Braun and Troy came over and... You know, we're just showing up for band practice. 
like we always do. And uh, you could see his pale stare. And he looked at us and, and he said, hey, my mom passed last night. You know, we were all down here talking about it. You know, I think the day that Bill's mom passed, we were, we were over there in his basement working on riffs, working on this album. So our first thought as friends was, wow, you just will take some time off. You let us know when you're ready to do this again. He said, no, we're doing it right now. But we worked that day. They were like, do you want, do you want the day off to like, and I was like, I don't know, sit around and mope about it? No, I mean, I just wanted, let's just keep working. And that's what was important to Bill. He wanted to play, you know. I get that, I've totally been there. I was like, no, I mean, what I really want is that you guys to be around me and to, to do this, because this makes me happy. It makes me not think about that kind of stuff and I think about it too much, so let's, let's just keep on working. I want to play music with you guys. I want to create, I want to write, and I want to channel this energy that's happening right now into the music, and I need you guys to do it. We're doing this together. Tough couple of years for everybody. And writing music always helps with that kind of stuff, especially Mastodon music can be cathartic, you know. It is cathartic, you know. It's like, you know, my mom would want me to do well and excel at what I'm doing and, and put all my effort into it and do it do it the best I can. So I just remember that and I come down here and just try to write the best songs that I can write. That's all I can do, you know. just want to do what you love and be surrounded by the people you love so you just that's what you want you riff out so we did that it's good to put life's most painful situations can turn into something beautiful and uh, we use the band to try to honor their memory. And I think that particular moment really set the entire record in a different direction with a brand new sincerity that over the next several months would become what is our new record. So yeah that's what this album is. It's all that. <laughs>